Welcome to IPL 2022. Who is going to win the IPL this year? So keep watching not only this video, but all the videos in this series. Welcome to Quick World Straight Up by Vijay and Prabhu. Exciting times coming up. Uh, the IPL starts on the 26th of March. CSK versus KKR. And the final is on the 29th of May. Yes, and there are two groups, Group A and Group B. I understand you call Group A the group of death? Yes, I do. So if you look carefully at Group A, hmm. three of the teams have won the IPL before. Hmm. And the fourth and fifth team, Lucknow and Delhi Capitals, are very strong teams as well. Okay. In Group B, two of the teams have won the IPL, but the other teams are looking a little bit iffy this time because of injuries and uh, selection problems and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I think a Group A is very, very tough this time. Okay. And we also got two new teams. We've got Lucknow in Group A and we've got Gujarat in Group B. Yes, we do. And even the format is a little bit different this time. So how is it diff uh, different this time then? So last year we had eight teams, each playing each other twice. Hmm. They played a total of 14 games. This time around, still 14 games, but the format is a little bit different. So each team in, will play other teams from their group twice. Okay. Play the corresponding seeded team across the other group twice. And the other group teams in the opposite group would be played once. So 8, 2, 10 and four, 14. So every team plays each other for I mean, a total of 14 games. Okay, sounds a little complicated for my brain, but uh, 14 games each team. Fantastic. Yeah, and the playoff structure remains the same hmm. from last year. Okay. Now, what about the venues? So we've got four venues this time. Two hmm. in Bombay, the Brabant Stadium and the Vankade Stadium. And then we've got the MA uh, Stadium in Pune and the DIY Patel Stadium in Vashi. Okay, so this is all in Maharashtra mainly and because of COVID, I suppose. Yes, it's just easy for team management and uh, movement of teams. Sure. So that's what uh, they decided to have everything in one state. Sure. So I'll just uh, have a look at the pitches as well. Let's have a quick look at Absolutely. the pitches. Absolutely. So uh, what we understand is because of the weather conditions and the in of March and April, mm. it looks as if uh, the first part of the IPL shall favor the medium to fast uh, bowlers. And the second half, as the big pitches begin to wear, okay. the spinners will come into their own. Surely. That's the Naturally. expectation. Yeah, Naturally, right? because, you know, the, initially the uh, pitches, when they are fresh, they usually do a little bit of seam here and there. And Bombay pitch, especially Brivon, and or for that matter, even um, uh, Juan Kedis, uh, always had uh, a bouncy pitch. They did. They did. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams approach the uh, composition of the teams uh, going into the first games of the IPL. Excellent. History has it that the IPL trophies are won or lost during the auction days. Keeping that in mind, the franchises spent a lot of money trying to get their best players. In fact, we had about 10 players getting sold for more than 10 crores each. That's right. So today we are going to be covering two premier teams, Delhi Capitals and Punjab Kings. Yes, and let's start with Delhi Capitals first. So Delhi Capitals seem to have a very, very strong opening partnership in uh, Prithvi Shaw and David Warner. And they're followed by the youngster from the under-19, uh, Yash Dhal. Then we have uh, Rishabh Pant and then good all-rounders in Mitchell Marsh, Shardul Thakur and Aksar Patel. Mm. And then not to forget the fast bowlers yeah. in Nor Norie and uh, Nigiri. Yeah, that's right. So it seems that uh, Delhi Capitals have covered just about all aspects and have a very strong Indian player presence and, of course, a captain like uh, Rishabh Pan. Correct. Okay, so let's look at uh, Delhi Capitals' batting strengths. Yeah, like I said before, fantastic opening combination of Warner and Shaw. Mm. And then we've got Pant and Dhal, yeah. as well as Sarfraz, who's in brilliant form in the Ranji Trophy. Okay, and uh, what about bowling? Well, uh, they've got some very good all-rounders in... Uh, Mitchell Marsh, Shadul Thakur, mm. and Aksar Patel, and then the fast bowling options of Nagiri and uh, Norie. Okay, so that means you are saying that both departments like spin and also pace is well covered. Yes. 
Okay. So, do you see any weaknesses then? Yes. If you had to pick a weakness, it would have to be spin. Okay. While we have Akshay Patel as the premier spinner, hmm. it doesn't look like they have too many backup options in case uh, they needed more than one spinner to play in the team. So, I would say that would be probably one of the only weaknesses they have. All right. So, let's look at uh, the second team, Punjab Kings. Yes, they have actually a new captain now, Mayank Agarwal. And, uh, yeah. And what about the other players? Yeah, so they've got a very good, strong um, team. Um, let's talk about uh, the players one by one. Shikhar Dhawan, mm. Mayank Agarwal, mm. Johnny Besto, mm. Shah Rukh Khan. Mm. Um, you've got Liam Livingston mm. and uh, Odin Smith, Harpreet, Rabada, okay. Ashdeep and uh, Chahar, Rahul Chahar. Okay, so what are the batting strengths then? Yeah, as you can see, they have an explosive top order. Mm. And it looks like they can score 180 runs every time they go on the park. And probably good enough for most games. Okay. What about the bowling strengths then? So, I mean, the bowling is... They've got a decent bowling lineup. Uh, they've got Odin Smith and Rabada. And then they've got Arshdeep, Chahar, as well as uh, Harpreet. So, I mean, if handled well, I think they can, uh, you know, do very well against most teams. Okay. So, do you see any obvious weaknesses in that case? Yeah, when you pick the top 11, this is what you get and mm. not too much behind. So, the backup players are probably not the same quality as these players. So, if something were to go wrong, injuries or loss of form or something, uh, then Punjab might be struggling a little bit. I see, I see. Okay, just out of interest, do you know the nickname of the current Indian coach? Rahul Dravid? Yes. No, not really. Well, he's called Jammy. And do you know why? No. His father used to work for Kisan Jam and he used to give him a bottle of Kisan Jam every time he went to play cricket. Oh, really? Yes. And that's how he's actually called Jammy. Yes. And I so thought he was called Jammy because he used to jam the ball all the time. Yeah. This, this uh, began at a very young age and sure. it just uh, stayed with him. Fabulous. Excellent trivia. I'm sure you have liked our videos. Yes. So hit the notification button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video.